Well, I think there's something about the medium that makes us feel detached, mm -hmm. and, and that's how people get away with it. But it also brings up a broader issue in how people use their communication programs. And, you know, I see these extensive conversations on email about complex problems and they never get solved. And, and my response usually is, let's talk. Yeah, let's and, talk. And in a couple minutes, you, you can kind of work it out. So we have to be more mindful of whether we're using email, texting, or maybe it's a face-to-face -face or even a telephone conversation more appropriate. I mean, how many kids break up with a boyfriend or girlfriend through a text? That just yeah. That yeah. seems a little harsh. Yeah, it does I would harsh. say the worst communication issue I've ever had has always been through text and email. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I confront that person face-to-face, -face, it, changes it, it always got resolved. Always changes. Yeah, so I think fun. even video conferencing is a, is a better option yes. because yeah. now you can... So much of communication is not just with the words we say, but the facial expression, mm -hmm. the, the body language, yeah. and you miss all of that with, yeah. with just email or texting, don't you? Yeah, especially with complex issues and interpersonal issues is very important. And I think that uh, you know, it's, it's a big problem because there's, with this idea that uh, uh, this is anonymous, mm -hmm. you know, people say outrageous things or actually text or email outrageous things it comes back to haunt them mm -hmm. uh, you know if you if you have to write uh, the, we used to say if you have a nasty letter to write write it and put it on the mantle yeah. and yeah. look at it in the morning <laughs> yeah. once it's out there it's out there